This is a video explainer for Aquaset, a new data set to enable remote sensing of water quality. For most of the 20th century, when society wanted to better understand the quality of our waters, we had to send someone out to the field to collect a sample in lakes, rivers, or estuaries. They would then analyze the sample in a lab and report back the water quality to a city, state, or federal entity that managed the data. In the United States, for many decades, these data were held separately across hundreds of entities, limiting our ability to look at continental scale variation in water quality. But since the early 2000s, much of this data has been aggregated into a single portal called the Water Quality Portal. For lakes, researchers have also compiled a high-quality regional data set called Lagos. This video shows any time someone took a sample in any large water body in either of these two data sets. Here we focus on chlorophyll A, which can tell us how much algae is in a water body, dissolved organic carbon, which tells us how much carbon has leached from forests and grasslands into streams and lakes, total suspended sediment, and secudis depth, a measure of water clarity. Collecting these data is an expensive process that limits our ability to fully understand how our water quality is changing at regional and continental scales. Furthermore, where and when these samples are taken is biased. For example, the slight pulsing shown in the video stems from the fact that very few people have taken samples on weekends. For decades, scientists have known a way to overcome some of these problems and to dramatically increase the amount of data we have on inland waters. Because what is in the water changes its color, we can use satellite imagery to predict water quality based on a water body's reflectance, or its color. Since the launch of Landsat 5 in 1984, we have had satellites in the air that take high spatial resolution images of the Earth every 16 days. Here you can see these images being taken by Landsat 5 as it orbits the United States, taking pictures of rivers and lakes along the way. This video shows the path when an image has less than 50% cloud cover. So when a Landsat path has blank spaces, that is because there were too many clouds for useful data collection. Landsat 5 was only the first such satellite, with a sister satellite, Landsat 7, launched in 1999, shown here with a more orange path color. And after 28 years of service, Landsat 5 stopped regularly sending imagery back to Earth in late 2011, but shortly thereafter the newest Landsat satellite, Landsat 8, was launched in 2013, here shown with a slightly more red color. Despite the potential of these images to tell us about water quality variation across the United States over the past 35 years, there's never been a truly national scale usage of the data. All the imagery from these satellites represent untapped potential to predict water quality from imagery and to understand how our nation's waters have changed since 1984. To, permit this, to promote this kind of work, we built Aquasat, which is a dataset that pairs samples taken on large rivers and lakes with Landsat imagery. These matchups can be used to train, test, and build models that predict water quality without needing someone on the ground to take a sample. Here the video flashes white when a Landsat image is taken over a water body at the same time that someone takes a sample. By integrating the water quality portal, Lagos, and the Landsat archive, we created the largest such dataset ever assembled, with more than 600,000 matchups. We used open source programming languages like R and Python and the massive parallel computing power of Google Earth Engine to build the dataset, and all our code is open source, so that other people can improve and use our work. We hope to use Aquasat to understand water quality variation over space and time at continental scales, and we hope that publishing the data allows other people to do the same. Please find the link to the paper in the comments below, and thank you.